Hey, I'm Jen from Bento LA. During these challenging times, I wanted to walk you through some craft tutorials you can do with your kids at home. All of these tutorials will be with materials that you can find from around the house. Today, we'll be making this bag. It is a woven paper bag. You can either make it with one color or lots of colors. It's gonna be fun. So for this activity, we're gonna need three or four supplies. The first thing that you're gonna need is 10 pieces of paper. They can all be the same color or all be different colors depending on your taste. As I mentioned before, um, I'm going to be using red. You can also going to need tape. It can be really strong duct tape like this. It could be painter's tape. It could be scotch tape. It doesn't really matter, depending on what you have in the house. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a ruler. The ruler isn't completely necessary. If you're someone who likes to just kind of eyeball it like I am, you don't need a ruler. But I wanted to include it in case you're someone who, you know, likes to measure things and make sure everything is exact. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out strips. So you're gonna take your paper, I like to take two at a time so you can get through it a little bit faster, and you're gonna cut a quarter, one quarter of the paper. That's uh, two inches and an, and an eighth um, if you are, if you are um, measuring with your ruler. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna wing it here, is we're gonna cut these out. Um, I'm gonna just finish it so that there's four strips from each page. It's not completely necessary that they're all exactly the same size because we're going to be folding them. So that's what it'll look like for each page. Okay, cool. So now that we have all of the strips cut, now we have to fold them. I mean, you could not fold them and you could just kind of start weaving with these, but I think like, as you can see here, it just become, looks a little bit more finished and professional when they're folded. So we're gonna fold them in thirds. So you kind of fold over one side. You know, for me, as I said before, I'm not a perfectionist. And so um, I don't make them exactly even, but if you wanted to, you could use a ruler and measure out, let's see, it's about um, a little under an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch, let's say. Um, and then this other side can just kind of fold down on top of it. The second side is a little bit harder than the first. Um, it's gonna be on the inside, it's gonna be covered up, so when it looks a little bit wonky here, it's not a big deal. Okay, so let's do that with all of our strips so that we can end up uh, with 40 strips. Okay, we did the most tedious part, which was folding all of these papers. If you are like me, your thumbs hurt a little and you're ready to start weaving. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a seven by six. So we're gonna put seven of these down on the table or whatever surface you are using. Um, so what you can do is you can just start weaving if you want, um, but I find that it's kind of challenging to get the first one's going, it kind of move, everything moves a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take a piece of tape and we're just going to tape everything down to the table like that. We're gonna end up cutting off those ends anyway. So this one got a little messed up. So it doesn't matter if they get covered in tape or get kind of peely or whatever. Um, okay, so you can kind of see that these are somewhat evenly spaced. Uh, could do this a little bit better. I'm just gonna like lift this up and move this over a little bit. Uh, but that's pretty good. Um, they can move a little bit later. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take another one and you're gonna go under, over, under the first one, under the second one, over the second one, under the third, over the fourth, under the fifth, over the sixth, and under the seventh you can see that that's like a little bit of weaving. So then you're gonna take the next one and you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna go over the first one, under the second, over the third, under the fourth, over the fifth, under the sixth, over the seventh. I'm telling you, this piece of tape holding them down makes this unbelievably, like way, way easier. Okay, so we're gonna keep going with this. I'll do one more with you. You just kind of do the opposite of the one before. If you've never weaved before, uh, it's not it's not super complicated. You just think under, over, under, over, under, over. 
so cool. So you're gonna go down, that's three. You're gonna do six more, or three more, I'm sorry, to get to six. So we're gonna do this twice, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tape up. Oops. Put this one back where it needs to go. And then you want this to kind of stay this way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it over. We're gonna take a piece of tape. This will be probably easier if you have smaller tape, but I don't have any in the house right now. And the ones that now are under, so you can see with this one, for example, this side, if I fold it over, it's gonna go over this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it and then put a piece of tape there. So now it stays. So let's do one more, or a couple more. I'm just gonna make a bigger piece that I can then rip little pieces off from. Okay, so that was one. So then this one, if you fold it, you can see it like kind of doesn't go over this piece. So we're just gonna leave that down for now. We're gonna take the next one, and fold it over. another little piece just like that and then you're gonna turn so this one is under now or yeah so we'll put this like this okay so at this point you should have something that kind of looks like this it's going to hold its shape, um, but there's still going to be kind of pieces of paper coming out from the square. But you can see if you turn it over that now it looks like this kind of beautiful weaving once you get rid of these little ends. So there's a couple of things that you can do with these ends. You can either cut them down. If you cut them down, make sure that it's below this line, below this, so that um, it's not seen when it's Put on the right side so let's see that would be look like this which is fine that's great another thing if you are really into the taping is you can just kind of fold them over so you can take this and just fold it on itself not over anything else just on itself and tape it down so do that with the rest of them so now that you have taped down and cut all of these strips, this part's really fun. You get to turn it over and da 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 da, you have this beautiful woven strip. Now follow all of those steps again and come up with two of these, like this. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to attach them together to make the little basket bag. So this part, it's kind of nice to have a, a ruler just to kind of check in. It makes it so that you don't have to use as much tape. Um, so what you can do is you are gonna take another strip, you're gonna fold down the end, and then you're gonna take the ruler and you're gonna go about an inch and a half or two inches, however wide you want the basket to be. I'm gonna go an inch and a half and then fold it again. And then you're going to cut this part. So it ends up like a piece like this. So we're gonna make a bunch of those. There's not really an exact number. It kind of depends on how thick your uh, strips are. So let's just make a couple of them. Let's see, we're gonna go one and a half inches. Fold it down. Let's make like 10 of them. And then we can always make more. Okay, so now we have 10 of these dividers. I'm just gonna call them dividers now because that makes sense. So we'll leave this one over here for now. And we're gonna start taping these on one end of them onto this other sheet. So you can kind of see how that will work. And you can tape each one separately or you can tape them together. Um, it doesn't really matter. It might be easiest just to tape them separately. So you're gonna tape one down. They don't really have to line up with the weaving that you had before, um, but they do, you are gonna weave between them. So it'll be nice to like keep a little space. So you can kind of see how that space is. Maybe keep a space like that between them. So we're definitely gonna need more than 10 because it's gonna take about five to get just across one side. Um, we might need 15, I guess. So that's five on one side. It doesn't necessarily have to be five. It depends on how thick your pieces are, but you can see kind of the spacing between them. That's probably a good spacing to have. So make sure that those are down pretty tight because we're going to work with them. 
So now do this other side and then cut out five more and do them on this side. If you have a different size or your strips are thinner or your strips are thicker, the, five, the number five might change for you. But let's just say on average, it's gonna be about five per side. Okay, so I added all of my dividers to each of the sides. It looks a little bit like a spider, but um, that's cool. Uh, so my strips were different sizes because I was eyeballing from the beginning. So this side had five dividers on it, this one had four, and this one had six. So it really just depends. It's not, it's not an exact science. So this part can get a little bit complicated. What we're gonna do, what we're trying to do, is attach this here. So attach the other side to this side to make the little bucket. So the first part's pretty easy. What you're gonna do is you can kind of just like lay this down like this and just add some tape. The other sides become a little bit more difficult because you have to go into the bag to kind of reach. But um, I just take a big piece of tape Again, it's okay, it doesn't matter what tape you're using. Uh, if you're using a lighter tape than this, you might need a few pieces, but um, not a big deal. It's not, as I said, an exact science. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of find the right spacing and put it on the tape. You see this? Like, put it on the tape with the right spacing that I want. This one, I guess, is the sixth side. So what I was saying before about um, measuring your dividers, if you did measure your dividers, then they should all be the same height here, which will make it easier to tape. Mine were not exact. I started by measuring and then just kind of stopped. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of attach it to this, just like that. Don't worry about the inside so much. We're going to, um, we're gonna cover it up with paper if we want to, or tape or whatever, but we'll get there. Um, okay, so taping that to that, great. And now you can see on the side here, it doesn't look too great. I, it will look better once we weave the sides, but for now, just kind of try to push down the tape in between the dividers as much as possible. Just like, you know, play around a bit. Try to get it to stick. If you want, you can put some double-sided tape on the back here, or you can kind of curl up a piece of tape and put it on the back there, but I wouldn't worry about it too much right now. Uh, we'll get to covering that. So, and the inside here looks like a mess, but it won't because we're gonna cover it. Okay, so that's one side. So we're gonna just do the same thing with the bottom side. And you can see the bottom part now looks exactly just like the side did. It'll look better once we weave it, I promise. Okay, so this side is the most complicated because obviously the other sides are done and so getting in there is a little bit difficult. But you can do it and if you need somebody's help, you can, having two people uh, makes it a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is the same thing where we put the edges of the dividers on the tape. This, this divider is a little bit wonky, so let's fix that. And cool, look, it's starting to look like a bag. It has the right shape. So now what we're gonna do, as promised, we're going to weave the sides. So we are going to take another one of these. We're running, we're getting low on these, which makes sense because we're almost done. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave the same way we did before. The difference is that you might need to put your hand inside to help. So we're gonna go under, over. See how it just looks a little bit more challenging? It's just like needs a little bit of a guiding hand from the inside. So look, so that got all the way there. So I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. We'll tape it onto the back, but we'll just leave it open for now. And then we'll start going on the other side. We're not gonna make it all the way because the strip isn't long enough because the paper uh, is only 11 inches. But you see, we make it all the way there. So instead of having to do lots of taping on the inside, we can just kind of have it weave through. Okay, so let's keep going. We'll keep going from there. So we wanna continue with this under over thing. 
Okay, so that is one piece. We're just gonna leave leave those like that for a second. We'll tape them once we finish the weaving. Um, so I don't. I made it the dividers an inch and a half. So that makes it so that two two strips will weave down. If you have more, if your strips are thinner, anything like that, you might need more more weaving in order to cover uh, the holes. But for me, I'm just gonna take one and I'm gonna go a little bit differently. It's gonna go over under. It's just gonna be the same weaving, but just the opposite pattern. So I'm gonna to try to make it so you can see it. But it's the same thing as before. It's just right next to that other strip. Okay, so you can see that now I have five sides, which makes it um, pretty pretty close to done. So what we're gonna do is, if you look into your bag, you'll see that there's a bunch of ends on the bottom from the, this weaving process on the sides. So what you'll wanna do is just take a couple pieces of tape and tape it down. And if yours looks anything like mine, the inside is looking a little bit messy. So you can see that these guys need to be taped down at the top. So it's looking pretty good. I, you know, like there's parts right here that if, if you move it like this, then you can see the seam here with all of the tape. So if you want to get around that, as I mentioned before, you can just do a little bit of double-sided tape or you take a tape and just kind of fold it on itself so it becomes sticky on both sides. And then just uh, stick it on in there and it should hold it a little bit better. So even just one piece of tape there is like pretty, um, pretty effective. What we're gonna do, and I forgot to tell you this, so I hope you have more paper. You're gonna need a couple more sheets of paper. So let me just take a couple more sheets of paper. Sorry about that, I should have remembered that at the beginning. Um, this is a good time to use a ruler. So what you're gonna do is you wanna measure the inside of each of these sides, these four sides, one, two, three, five sides, the bottom two. Although the bottom you can't see as well. So let's see, mine is, you know, six inches and a quarter by six inches. So I'll do that twice, six inches by a quarter and a quarter by six inches. And then I'll do this side, which is going to be around two, a little under two inches by six inches. So I'm just gonna cut those out of this extra paper that I found, and then I'll show you what to do next. So I cut out, this one is big enough for the bottom, these two are big enough for the sides, and these ones are big enough for the bigger side. So, for example, when you kind of stick it in, it's a little long, but we can deal with the, the length later. What we want to make sure is, and if you can see in there, it just fits nicely on the side and it covers up all of the tape that was there before. So what, what we want to do, there's two ways to do this. One of them is to just tape all of these pieces together and then just stick it in. But I prefer to put a little bit of that double-sided tape technique that I was talking about um, on each of the pieces and then just stick them in and attach them. I like to put tape on four corners and then the middle. Okay, so let's see. Which side is longer? This side looks like it goes this way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in there, try not to get caught on anything with that tape, and then tape it down to the side. So now when you look in there, all you see is this red wall. So we're gonna do that with the other sides. Okay, so looking good. Um, our next step that we're gonna do is make the handle. So what I did for this one was just kind of one handle in the middle. You can kind of play around once I show you how to do it, but we're gonna use the remaining strips, probably not all of them, but if we tape three of these together, it becomes really a, a nice thick handle. 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tape these three together. So now we have this thick piece of paper that we can make a handle out of. So it's the same kind of thing that we were doing before the other way, which is turn, make it into thirds. So fold it into thirds. So now we have a handle looking thing. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is put tape and attach them inside between the wall and the internal panel. So the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna get a small piece of tape, attach it like this, and stick it in there 